Welcome to another edition of Night Life and welcome to a new era on the banks. I'm Bruce Beck and I'm joined by Coquise Washington, the third head coach in the history of Rutgers women's basketball. First of all, how great is it going? It is phenomenal. Um, coming here and being a part of the Rutgers community has been more than I could have ever hoped for, more than I could have expected. The people have been so gracious and welcoming to myself, our staff, my family. So it's been a great start to uh, our, Rutgers, our Rutgers career. Five months of the job. Did you hit the ground running? That's an understatement. <laughs> uh, we definitely hit the ground running. What's um, the experience been like? It's been busy, but a good busy. You know, um, getting to know the team. So you inherit a new team. You don't really know any of the players. So that was task number one, is just to get to know the team fielding the staff and doing all of the work that comes with bringing in co coaches and support staff members um, and at the same time recruiting and looking for the future and preparing for the upcoming season. So a lot of balls juggling, but thankfully my eighth grade teacher, Mrs. Lewis, taught us how to juggle. So I'm able to juggle all of these things and keep it going. This Rutgers program has a rich history. Teresa Grenz, C. Vivian Stringer. What a legacy. What is it like to follow in their footsteps? It's so inspiring. And the, the cool thing is I know both of them. Um, before coming here, like I know Coach Stringer, I know Coach Grenz, and they've along the way um, during my coaching career have sprinkled nuggets of wisdom as, as a coach growing up in this profession, how to balance family, and coaching, how to be a mom, how to make sure you don't lose sight of that, how, you know, how to build a program and just all of these coaching nuggets along the way. So then when I took the job, it's like, man, I'm it's almost like you're following in the steps of your your sisters or your your you know relatives. Like you want to do well because you feel connected to them. Coach Stringer is going to be honored here on December 4th. How do you look at the past and still honor it? and still blaze your own trail, your, your own way of building a program successfully? Well, the great thing is you do have that past and you do have that legacy to lean on. So as we walk in this practice gym every day and we see all the banners and we see all the accomplishments, it's inspiring. And for us as a staff and our current players, we wanna add, we wanna add to it. Like how can we add pages to this book? How can we put more banners up in the rafters and so that's that's the the inspiration and the motivation is to add another chapter of excellence onto this already esteemed legacy. Coquish, you were a head coach for 12 years at Penn State. You were an assistant and associate head coach at Notre Dame, Oklahoma. What's your style going to be like? That's what everyone's asking. <laughs> well, number one, we're, we want to play fast. We All right, we like that. We want to try to score like 172 points a game, <laughs> something in that area. But uh, it's just, we want to play an exciting style that the fans can get behind, um, that our players enjoy playing. And that even as the coaches, we enjoy coaching an up-tempo uh, up style and um, letting them get out there and, and showcase their skills and what they can do. Awa Sidibe is one of three returnees for your program. What are you looking for in terms of experience from her and from China Cornwell and Erica Lafayette? Well, one of the things that those three have really done is they have embraced our, our new staff. They have embraced uh, the way we want to do things. They've embraced the culture that we're bringing in and introducing to the team. And that has spread to the, the transfers and to the freshmen that have come in. Um, so that, that experience and leadership from them in that space has been really key so far. So Kai Carter is one of those transfers, a dynamite point guard from UNC Asheville, who led her team not only in threes, but in rebounding. Mm -hmm. So how special is she? Oh, well, she's a, certainly a very, very talented young lady. Now, I was, we'll have to say, she's not a point guard. You know, she's a wing, um, but she's going to have the ball in her hands a lot for, for us. Um, and that's a bit of a position change for her, um, is to be the, the voice of the team. Cause she's, Kai is so quiet. Like between a mouse and Kai, <laughs> I don't know who's louder, right? Um, so that's a bit of a position change for her, um, but she's embraced it and, and she's given it her best shot. 
Kayleen Smichael is another new addition, mm -hmm. the Pennsylvania Player of the Year as far as Gatorade was concerned. Yeah. What does she bring in terms of versatility? Well, that's a great word. She's versatile. She can do a lot of things. Um, one of the things she does bring is she has a lot of confidence, and uh, that confidence rubs off on everybody else around her. Um, so it's, it, it's, it's really cool to have a freshman come in with that level of, of confidence in what she can do. You have only eight total players. I know at Notre Dame you went through this before. Is there something positive in terms of chemistry because you have a smaller group to work with? Yeah, that, that chemistry is definitely something that happens when you have that small unit, you know, and they develop a bond. Everybody kind of understands their role a little bit quicker. Um, and they understand their importance to the team. And we certainly, I think we have that strong bond already because of the small numbers. But no fouls and no injuries, No coach. fouls <laughs> and no injuries. Everybody's gotta stay healthy and everybody's gotta stay on the court. <laughs> You've got an experienced and talented coaching staff. Tasha Pointer, one of the great point guards in the history of Rutgers basketball. Nikki McCray, who was the All-America at Tennessee two-time WNBA champion, Olympic gold medalist, and your former teammate. Yes. So what does it mean in terms of making you an elite program when you have elite assistant coaches? Oh, it, it, it means the world. Uh, their ability to teach, number one, and to share their experiences with our players gives them so much credibility walking in the gym from day one. And they've been phenomenal in helping to grow our players, helping them to understand our system and how we want to play. And that, again, that credibility uh, just, just uh, it oozes out of them um, the minute they walk into the gym. And what does John Hampton bring to the table? John Hampton brings to the table he brings a he brings that Philly edge, man. He's you know he's he the comes toughness. in, yeah. He brings that toughness, the you know the voice, the Philly edge, and um, and we and we need that. You know we need that balance. I love the balance that he brings in. So what's the next chapter going to be like here at RU? Well, that's a loaded question. Um, you know, one word that we use a lot with this team is discovery. Um, we're going to discover a lot about who we are who this team is over the course of this year. And so we don't wanna put our, paint ourselves into a box saying we're gonna be this or we're gonna be that. We're gonna discover who we are, but we're gonna be a hardworking team. We're gonna be a fun team. We're gonna enjoy basketball because it's a game that we all love. So we're gonna have fun, we're gonna work hard, and we're gonna represent Rutgers Athletics, Rutgers University, and Rutgers women, women's basketball at a very high level. Finally, what's your message to Rutgers Nation? You've got a chance here yeah. to address them formally. My message to Rutgers Nation is we are you. We represent you. We love you, support us, and we're going to be a program that you can absolutely get behind and love who we are. Coquise Washington, the new head coach for the Rutgers women's basketball program. I'm Bruce Beck. This has been another edition of Nightlife. Coach, good luck to you. Thanks for spending some time with us. Thanks for having me. And we'll see you next time.